Jenna Morton, and on this episode, we are bringing you all the details about a fun new foodie festival happening in the Greater Moncton area this February. And to hear all about it, we have Amber Richards with us. Welcome to the show. Thanks, Jenna and Tosh. Hello. Thanks for having me. Yes. <laughs> oh, this is going to be a lot of fun. Why don't you let everyone know about this brand new festival you've been working on? Absolutely. So we are definitely really excited because it's all about chocolate. <laughs> Jenna and I and you are like, yeah. Chocolates yeah. for everyone. I know Tosh is a big fan. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> Everybody could have hot chocolate. So it's going to be a week-long festival citywide. A lot of wonderful chocolatiers, pastry shops, restaurants, cafes that are participating and putting in their own hot chocolate creation for the February 16th to 25th. And during that week and a bit, um, they're going to be going head to head to head in a little competition based on your votes. Ooh. So we want you to get out there and support these businesses because this time of year is really hard for our local businesses. So get out, support the businesses, have a hot chocolate, bring your family, family friendly, make a date night, mm -hmm. could maybe put a little something spirited in your hot chocolate. <laughs> and um, bring everyone and um, take your team out, take your staff out, take your clients out, have a hot chocolate. Uh, each establishment is going to donate 50 cents from each cup of hot chocolate to Inclusion Advocacy, SCNB, because hot chocolate's for everyone. I love that. Yeah, absolutely. Oh my goodness, so, yes, I love the idea that it's a, a festival celebrating hot chocolate with our small businesses because like you say hot chocolate is such a you know kind of ubiquitous thing that pretty much everyone can agree they enjoy um but i think a lot of people probably are still thinking of hot chocolate is that like you know you put the powdered chocolate and a little bit of hot water in your house and you're like really can we do a whole festival around this but i've seen some of the sneak peeks of the creations that our local companies are working on. We're not just talking about your regular milk chocolate flavored hot chocolate. Right, they're not just doing the, the powdered <laughs> from a bag, um, even though that's really good. Um, but yeah, nothing against powders, yeah. but just to like, they're not all just milk chocolates. We yeah. do love you, yeah. Carnation. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, some of them are single origin chocolate, right? Because mm. we have some fabulous chocolatiers around here. Um, La Rouere is doing a chocolate experience, a five course. So you do have to book a time to go to that one because they're very small and they do artisan chocolates, bean to bar. So they're gonna take you through a whole five course chocolate experience. Um, that's right on Weldon Street. Mm -hmm. And then there are some cafes that are doing like a homemade hot chocolate, right, right from the chocolate sauce. And some of them are using a coconut milk instead of like a dairy Ooh. milk. So there's all kinds of options, mm. definitely. There's some maple, um, what else, mini I, eggs. I saw a white chocolate creation. I saw some, uh, some photos and some previews of yes. that one that looked very, very interesting. And you've brought a few little things <laughs> for us to try here today. Yeah. Yes, I did. So this is actually going to be a prize that we're going to give away for your votes. So when you vote and you submit your vote, we're going to have a QR code that you can vote from each establishment that you're at. Um, you get to win a couple of packages of Sipology's hot chocolate. And this hot chocolate is dairy free. It only has five grams of sugar. So it's really good to wait till you try it. So I think you wanted the butterscotch. I, I will give that a go. Absolutely. I love the sound. It's butterscotch hot chocolate. I know. I'm, I'm very yeah. curious. You'll have to tell me because I'm going to try a different one. Yes, you are. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, there you go, Tosh. Thank that is you. yours. I'm, and then yeah, smell we'll, it first. What do you think? Ooh. Yeah. Oh, I like the smell of that. It looks mm. like chocolate, but it does have that butterscotchy smell. I'm yeah. very curious. I'll wait until you get yours ooh. now. Which and one did you get? Is amaretto. Amaretto. Yes. And so the hot chocolate that I'm going to give away, um, because I know amaretto might not be for everyone, um, I'm going to give away like a real deal and a peppermint or salted caramel. Mm. And this mug. Oh, perfect. So yeah, I know yeah. it's like a nice big giant mug, so I'm not going to drink out of this one today. But yeah, did you have a taste? Right. I did. It's really oh, good. Do you want to so, cheers first? Cheers. Yeah. yeah. I, I added a little bit of oat milk to them mm. and um, hot water, and that's it. So mm. it's just as it is. Well, so, yeah, it's scrumptious. That, yes, it yeah. has very much that kind of like almost um, cherry hint for the amaretto. The amaretto? Like, yeah. Okay. I think it's really an almond more flavor, isn't yeah. it? It always tastes like cherries to me. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah you're that's right on that. Thing, but, um, yeah, yeah no, that's fun. really exciting. And you had said, I heard you as I was 
um, enjoying this cup, but I heard <laughs> peppermint hot chocolate and in our house, that's all the, the kids rage. Love it the is peppermint, all don't they? the rage. Uh, my yeah. youngest does not like chocolate. I have yet to figure her out. I, there's always <laughs> one kid, right? There's always one kid. Um, but she doesn't like chocolate, so then therefore, um, hot chocolate wasn't really her jam and then I brought home peppermint hot chocolate and she was like sign me up ah, let's do this I converted her I converted her I was buying her like going out and buying um the white hot chocolate and she would do that um which is fine too but it's nice bar to just 55 have... yeah <laughs> theirs is gonna be a white no is it bar 55 that's white Yes, I think, I think so. so. I, yeah. think that, I think that's yeah. what I was yeah. drooling over their pictures earlier. So. Yeah, because yeah, you have had some amazing photography in advance of this festival coming Sylvie out. With Sylvie Maserol. Yeah, yeah, we've had Sylvie on the show before. Yeah. And so if you watched that episode or listened and went and looked at her work, you know how incredible her food photography is. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, if you really want to get the feel of this festival before it even begins, go start checking out the socials now because Sylvie's, uh, I'm just, I keep drooling looking at my phone. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's why definitely working with Sylvie because she is the best food photographer around. So definitely thought she's going to get the pictures of all the hot chocolates and she's going to make them shine. So yeah. you're going to be drooling over all of them. Like, <laughs> well, which yeah, one do we get, go get today? Exactly. You get those descriptions of, yeah, like the white chocolate and the, the various garnishes or the different things they're doing. I, I'm really looking forward to it. I've I've been watching them. Um, some really fun uh, like marshmallow creations people are doing with you know kind of getting that like s'mores roasted mm, marshmallow yum. feel to things and mm -hmm. yeah so tell us a little bit more about some of the locations that are taking part and maybe some of the creations if you can give us a few little hints yeah so Don't I did mention away. of course the chocolatiers so La Ruere is one with that five cho five course chocolate experience and Arab if I said that properly my French is not the best but uh, there is ours. You're okay. <laughs> <laughs> Arab chocolat in Chiriac. Uh, so they are also participating. And then we also have bar 55 that I just mentioned with that white chocolate. And there's um, there's something in that white chocolate. Um, it mm, is it has, like, little, like, spiced. Pink. It's got yeah, like a spiced cardamom, coconut cardamom, and cardamom. Yeah. And, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. and then there is also, oops, sorry, I'm forgetting all of them. Um, Cafe Archibald is another one. The oh, Old Triangle spot. is another one. Uh, Cafe La Miral. Um, Cafe Inclusio, which mm. they also support the same mission that I do with um, Inclusion Advocacy SENB. It supports the individuals and their families with intellectual and or developmental disabilities and Cafe Inclusio has that same mission. So they um, hire people with um, intellectual disabilities like uh, autism or Down syndrome to work in the cafe. So I'm really happy that they're participating this year so we can get some people in there to support them. Mm -hmm. Buy their coffee too because it helps their mm -hmm. cause, their mission. Well, and they have such a lovely spot too. They're, so they're in Dieppe mm -hmm. and just, yeah, just a fantastic vibe Yeah, there. with that stone wall. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. a beautiful spot. <laughs> That's another one. Um, did I mention Copan? No, yeah. not oh, yet. Copan oh, as well. Oh, and oh. you know what? Their croissants and stuff are like, yep. like all their pastries. Yeah, so oh, you I'm can sure imagine the hot chocolate's going to be fantastic. <laughs> Um, yeah, so there's more to come, but maybe I won't give yeah, all give of it away. away. No, definitely yeah. not. We'll tease them through our social media <laughs> channels. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I wanted to know, Amber, so Amber has like an events company here in town, Amber Effects, and you obviously have been watching events like this happen in the city for years and probably being on the inside track of a few of them. What made you decide to do this one? Hmm. Well, some of the other food weeks aren't for everyone. Um, and I don't want to pick on any of them because nope. I know people get really excited about them. But if you don't eat a certain thing, mm -hmm. then you don't get to necessarily go and enjoy those food weeks. So um, I only got the idea January 8th. So that's why it is like <laughs> the tightest was, turnaround of life. Yeah. yeah. And to be honest, <laughs> the best things happen. Yeah. yeah. Right away. I was Just planning out my social media calendar for Amber Effect events. And as I was going through it, you know, I always check out the national days because sometimes there's a day that, you know, I might resonate with and, and think it's great to, to talk about it. Um, and hot chocolate day was January 31st. Yeah. And I'm like, hot chocolate day, hot chocolate, hot chocolate. <laughs> Everybody loves hot chocolate. I'm like, we need to have a hot chocolate week. We gotta do a festival. And so I'm like, okay, let's just do it. <laughs> and 
<laughs> so I think yeah. you were one of the first people I reached out to because yeah. I'm like, if anybody can get the word out quickly, <laughs> it's Jenna and Tosh. And family friendly so mm -hmm. uh, yeah and then I reached out to the city of Moncton and just boom 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 things started falling into place speaking of city of Moncton do you guys know you you know of course you know polar fest yes. is also happening so we're gonna launch the chocolate Moncton with polar fest on the nice. 16th and then the 17th to 19th is polar fest at the uh, Centennial Park and then of course after you go and do all your fun activities out in the snow with the kids take them to one of the establishments for hot chocolate. Brilliant. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And coldest night of the year is also going to be during the uh, Chocolate Moncton week. So after everybody goes out and walks in the coldest night of the year, I know a few teams are also going to be coming out to get some hot chocolate. Fantastic. Yeah. Wow. It does. It all just falls together yeah. perfectly, doesn't it? And January and February are notoriously quiet months for our hospitality, restaurants, cafes. So we really need to keep them busy through the winter when we just want to stay bundled up. <laughs> or just, yeah, you, know, you want hot drinks. Yes. Yeah. 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 yeah, it's it's a great a tool to help people get out as well, right? It's not just about supporting the businesses, which is important, but that importance of getting yourself out of the house and having something to focus on that is something that you can kind of grab on when those days are dark and you're just like, no, I just kind of want to hermit up and stay inside yeah no mate you know strap on your boots get yeah. out there <laughs> yeah ha having that fun reward at the end to look forward to yeah. of going to get yourself treat yourself to hot chocolate and know that you're helping a fantastic organization at the same time why wouldn't you leave the house yeah, yeah. of course you will every yeah. day right every day Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. yeah and then i think you know if you live close to one of the restaurants or cafes walk with your mm. family get a mm -hmm. little exercise get that fresh air yeah I think it's a. I think it's a really great idea. I love the fact that um, my kids can be a part of it. I think that that is absolutely amazing, and the fact that um, I'm going to willingly be like, "Hey, you're going to have, you know, ten, fifteen, so however many hot chocolates. Let's do it." <laughs> <laughs> so and was, everybody can have yes. their own cup. It's yes. affordable. <laughs> yes, exactly, yeah. and it's affordable. Yeah. That's well, a huge I was, thing. I was just yeah. thinking yeah. about. I was going to ask what. What kind of price range are we talking for these drinks? Because some of them are a bit gourmet. They're not going to be your $2 right. hot chocolate necessarily. Right. So far, um, I've heard that they're running between 6 and 12 because each yeah. establishment is going to be able to set their own price because it depends on what ingredients they're of using course. and how fancy and creative they're getting. Um, the, the higher end, of course, is going to be the La Ruero because mm. they've got that whole tasting experience. And, um, but yeah, I, I don't know all of the prices exactly. I didn't ask what they all were, but um, I'm so far hearing that they're between six and 12. And I would think, you know, um, this is a total guess, but Old Triangles is likely a spiked hot chocolate. I think so it I is. I would imagine they have an <laughs> optional. For that. Yeah, okay. optional. optional. Yeah. Yes. But guess which one I would buy. <laughs> <laughs> I it depends if the kids yes. are coming yeah, or not, yeah, right? Yeah. Yes. But kids are welcome there during the day. Mm -hmm. yes. And uh, my kids love eating there. Mm, so I'm, so I'm enjoying this one. Yeah. Um, but I noticed, actually, just while we're talking about it, Old Triangle had a really interesting list of um, specialty coffees with different uh, mm. options for having them spiked or non. That was, uh, it was new on their menu the last time I was in, which probably just says more about how often I go in rather than their menu maybe or, or but it was very anywhere. exciting yeah. yes <laughs> oh yes it's not just that it's anywhere <laughs> i don't live in downtown Mucky. i can't walk to anything where <laughs> I live, just so we're clear yeah. um but i love the idea of like yeah really incorporating more hot chocolates and more you know just really kind of getting in touch with the different things that our businesses have to offer mm -hmm. Absolutely, yeah, because we don't always think about going out to a restaurant or a cafe for hot chocolate. Um, but one of them, I know, is also offering a mocha. So, you know, if you mm -hmm. want to get both your coffee and your chocolate fix, you could make it a mocha. But it's optional. So that way, if the kids are coming with you, then you can still give them the hot chocolate. Yeah. <laughs> and you can add the caffeine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which you're going to need. Yes. Yeah. Is there, so um, is there plans for, I know you've got the socials, um, up and running now. Is there a map that's coming out? How are people going to be able to track um, what's happening? Map mm -hmm. would be great. Maybe next year. I need okay. some more sponsors. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> a little plug, if there are any other businesses that want to sponsor Hot Chocolate uh, Festival, Chocolate Moncton, we definitely could use some more sponsors. Mm -hmm. But uh, for now, we are going to have um, a listing of all the places that are participating on the website with photos mm -hmm. <laughs> by Sylvie Maserol. <laughs> and um, we'll be dripping those out with our social media over the next two weeks. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And what about, uh, so this is airing on the 12th of February, so we've got just a few days before mm -hmm. it launches. If businesses are watching and, or hearing this right now and they're like, man, I want to get on board with that, can they still sign up? Do you think there's time? Yes, absolutely. Okay. okay. Yeah. You'll have to sign right up to like the 15th? Yep. Yep. <laughs> It's not going to yeah. be easy, but we can do it okay. <laughs> <laughs> because we're dripping out the social media. <laughs> yes, that's true. Yeah. yeah, but as soon as we get their photos, we'll get them up on the website, and uh, and yeah, definitely they can still participate. Okay. Yeah. Excellent. I'm really excited to see how people have fun with this and whether people are going to be okay. Yeah, I am. I am going to hit up every one of these, or are you picking and choosing. It's going to be really fun to watch people's journeys and, and see what uh, what draws people in and, and whether you know I how many people are actually going to make it to all of them and be able to tell us exactly because I'm, I'm counting on you now okay so. yeah. all right that goes but both I'm ways I'm putting yeah. uh, <laughs> you live closer to these places yeah. than I do that's true, that's true. well speaking I of that I not necessarily Jenna. drive in town every day <laughs> We do have another incentive because oh. we want to know who's out there enjoying yeah. the hot chocolate mm. too. So Sylvie Maserol has generously donated a mini shoot, oh. a, a half hour photo shoot, and this is amazing. So you can bring your spouse or your kids or whatever, up, up to four people, and she will give you three edited photos. And this is going to be a draw that we're going to do through social media. So when you tag Chocolate Moncton on um, Instagram or Facebook and use a hashtag Chocolate Moncton 2024, then you'll be entered in the draw. So that yeah. way we get to know who is actually enjoying our hot, cho hot chocolates. Oh, I yeah. love it. Yeah. Oh, I love the idea of winning that and then going to have hot chocolate for the photo shoot mm -hmm. and having Sylvie take pictures because her pictures are incredible. And I'm just like, there's such cozy vibes mm -hmm. to all these places and it's so inviting. And how fun is it to, to break out of that mold of, you know, the, the portrait studio kind of photo and just do something that really is enjoyable and shows the fun that you're having, whether, whether it's by yourself and you're doing this on your own and you're like, yeah, I'm going to bring my book and I'm going to sit here and get like, Headshots are just beautiful new social media photos. Like, exactly. Oh, so yeah. fun. Yeah. So fun. Yeah. yeah. And to say that you've had photos done with Sylvie, that is a real treat. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. She did a lot of the ones on my Amber Effect events channels. Yeah. 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 Very talented. Mm -hmm. um, so, so talk a little bit about the reception when you reached out to these various cafes and businesses in Moncton. You were like, hey, do you have a, you know, do you have a hot chocolate on the menu? Have you thought about doing something? <laughs> Talk a little bit about how all that came together. Well, that's basically what I did. I sent an email to 160 different wow. places <laughs> around Moncton. I, I didn't even realize we'd have that many options. Yep. Wow. <laughs> because I was thinking outside the box. I just didn't go to the chocolatiers, the pastry mm -hmm. shops, and the mm -hmm. cafes. I also went to the restaurants and some restaurants that are bars because they all could offer some kind of hot chocolate. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And so um, some of them uh, responded right away that they thought it was exciting and interesting. Others didn't get the email, so of course we had to get on the phone. <laughs> and some of them, the reception was not as warm as we thought. Um, it is a busy time of year. Yeah. We did just give them like a, a, I mean, it's not that busy of a time of year, but Valentine's Day is happening that same weekend yeah. that we launch. Mm -hmm. And um, the um, the notice was short, so, but most people thought, really, hot chocolate? Like, <laughs> this is exciting, so. And it is something that, that these businesses that uh, don't focus on food can be a part of. And, it, you know, another, anything to draw, I think it's a fantastic idea. Even if it is, you know, oh, this is at least going to get my social media page out there to people. That's, that's huge. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. And um, they certainly have other things to offer besides hot chocolate. So when you're in their establishment, you can see like what else they have to mm -hmm. offer. If they have like a snack or a lunch or something mm -hmm. that you can. Loaves of bread. Loaves <laughs> of bread. Yes. Croissants. <laughs> sourdough. Oh. <laughs> yeah. uh, it's close to lunchtime. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. I don't know when you're listening or watching, no. but for us, it's getting close to yeah. lunchtime. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm curious that we're 
most of the places that are participating, did they already have something on the menu or are they creating something specific for this? Most are doing something specific. Um, one is very close to the one that's on the menu, but uh, it's still amazing. So, but most of them are doing something unique. Yeah. If it's not broke, don't fix it, right? Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. True. But it's also, yeah. that's another like, you know, call out to people who are like, oh, this is a great idea. Like, d don't wait. You need to go during the festival or this might not be on the menu when right. you go in afterwards. You can still go afterwards, support them, but this particular drink might not be available. Mm -hmm. And maybe everyone will love it so much, they'll put it on the menu. <laughs> that's a very good yeah. point. Too. And then do another one next year. <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> Yes, I was going to say, I'm assuming this is already the first annual. It is absolutely the first <laughs> annual because we know it's going to go well. And oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. And then next year, more businesses jump on board. That's definitely the way to go. Um, okay, people are going to be interested. So where are they following along? Give us the socials. So Facebook, mm -hmm. Chocolat Moncton. Mm -hmm. Instagram, Chocolat.Moncton. Okay. Uh, and then the website, ChocolatMoncton.com. Okay. So chocolate without the E. Ah, perfect. <laughs> and that's where you're going to be able to find the list of all the participating cafes, restaurants, what have you. But, uh, and again, the dates for the festival? Mm. February 16th to 25th. 16th to the 25th. I love that. I love that February is a short month and we're just like jamming, jamming it full. Yeah. Of we got an extra day things. this year. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> true. <laughs> Maybe we'll get an extra hot chocolate out of it. Yeah, it, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Thank you very much for bringing yes. in hot chocolate for us to enjoy today. And a reminder to everyone that uh, you might also be able to win your own little prize package with mm -hmm. these uh, fantastic a flavors. And some chocolate. Yes, but you have to get out and enjoy the festival to do that and to get in the draw for Sylvie's wonderful gift as well. Thank you very much for coming in, Amber. You're welcome. Thank you for having me. And uh, I hope you all get out and enjoy some hot chocolate soon. Absolutely. Stay warm. Cheers. Mm -hmm.